All right, so, so this is in the context. We just had a patient that had a GSW to the face, a fatal, a fatal wound, but he was massive bleeding from the Well, face. we were suspecting that he was going to have massive blood in the airway. He did okay. not. But okay. we were expecting him to have lots of blood in the airway. Okay, all right. All right. So this is a suction as you go ET tube setup. All right. Courtesy of M Crit and Scott Weingart's podcast. All right. Um so but what you need is you need a fiber optic bronchoscope swivel adapter. Okay. Which is this. Okay. That you can get from endoscopy or from bronchoscopy. Okay, did we have it down here? Um we did not. We had to call for it really quick. We're okay. about to have to one of each difficult airway bags. Okay. 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 Um, and that comes with some little adapters right here. That okay. Kind of cap the top right here, just like that. Okay. So pick the smallest one and put it up there. Okay. And then you also need something that you don't see anymore, which is a meconium aspirator adapter yeah. that you yeah. can get from the NICU. Again, we're gonna get two to have. Set up ahead of time. Okay. In Neotech. Okay. It's going to be a sprayer adapter. And then you set up your ET tube just as you normally would. All right. And put your swivel adapter to the ET tube. Right. You can put a stylet, or if you need to pass a bougie through it. Well, okay. You know, uh, we're going to go ahead and put a stylet on. Okay. It goes right through the little hole that's meant for the fiber optic bronchoscope. Okay, okay. And then you can hook up your meconium aspirator to the Y. This it. goes to suction. Suction, okay. sure. So what you're going to do is, as you are advancing, you know, you have this hook up to suction, you can suction through by putting your finger on the meconium aspirator. Sure. Uh, you may lose some suction up here, so you may have to actually put some suction up here as well. Yeah. So you can, again, you're occluding here while you're hooked up to suction. So you are basically suctioning through the ET tube. Okay. So you have somebody that has massive hematemesis, lots of blood in the airway, lots of gunk in the airway. You're suctioning as you go. That way when you get your view, you can just go ahead and pass the tube. As opposed to normally, you're sucking, you know, suctioning, suctioning, right, suctioning. Right. Once you get your view, you take your suction out, you know, look down for a second to get your tube, and then when you look back up, you've lost your view, yeah, and you yeah. have more blood in the airway. Yeah. This way, you can continuously suction until you get your view, and then you're ready to just go ahead and pass the tube. Okay. Once you pass the tube, the whole thing comes out, and then you can just, you know. Do what you do. Do what you need to do. Okay, cool. So this right. is a good setup for somebody in class. Massive hematemesis, lots of gunk in the airway. Have you used it before? Uh, I have used it one time before. And, and the suction works good? Yeah, so the one time I used it was a patient with esophageal varices and it, it worked very well. It, it also depends on your style. Of, like, um, I use a satin slip at my other shop. Uh -huh. The satin slip stylet is bigger than this one. Yeah. And so it seals it's a better, better seal. than here. Yeah, yeah. This stylet, when I tried it today before, you know, right, right as we were, you know, right. we never had to use it, you lose a little bit of suction through so here. So you had, you had to cover so, that. So, you know, you have to kind of cover it up, but, you know, you can, you know, you know, this is something that's best set up ahead of time. Yep. With everything that you need, if you have a patient that you expect that you're going to have to. Uh, suction a lot. Okay. Um, but anyways, that's it. Good, good Again, teaching points. Okay. All right. Good. Thanks.